I came in to help out. Uh, Jim was working, uh, running the theater, and either because Jim Gerard, he, right? Jim Gerard, and either because he was one of the first far-seeing uh, directors, or because he was so desperate, he actually expanded his horizon of directors that he was willing to involve, and got John Palmer and Martin Kinch involved. Right, uh, and they did. Jim's big dream was to do Tom Paine, right. for which he uh, a New York play very good political New York play from the 60s, um, and he kept running into rights problems for it, and then production implication problems. And in the meantime, uh, a certain nationalism was starting to happen because Martin Kinch and John Palmer had done a season at Stratford when I was an assistant director at Stratford Festival. Um, and. Uh, the process was that he brought them in. They started to do some interesting, or hang around and be part of an interesting movement here. They needed other people to help. And I had known Martin from university, so I came in with him. Now that's politics. What about the blood? Well, no, the blood was, a, well, it was easy. The blood was easy off the beginning was that Jim Gerard was a huge idealist <laughs> and wanted a company of 12 people that he wanted to pay real money every week. And he started doing that, and I think he financed it himself because he was a teacher for a few years before that. And, uh, but the company was too big, or it was impossible because he, he wasn't doing it, and the check started to bounce about the time I came in. So you took the keys and the checkbook well, and that's I, how it worked? Well, it seemed like the most sensible thing to do was to <laughs> grab the checkbook from, there was an administrator, a wonderful sweet guy who smiled a lot. Right. And then after a while, you knew why he was smiling because okay, okay. there was no money in the right. bank account, and he was being asked to keep, you know, writing checks. And so, and when you took the keys in the checkbook, was there? A well, Martin Kinch was <coughs> at that point uh, designated as the new artistic director, uh, or something like that, and he was going to come in with a project that would sort of kick things over or, or around. He actually started with one project and then it became clear that that was not going to resolve any of the problems that were out there. So he came up with a clever box office potential show. Which was? Which was In His Own Right by John Lennon and Sweet Heiress by a guy called Terence McNally, who uh, opera fans will know today because he's still right. yakking away on that and, and, and does plays still. I mean, he did the one. The diva, woman diva play, you know, the lesson. Uh